Thursday, February 29th, day one of the tournament. I just had breakfast. See video here. It was pretty good. Uh, I was a little skeptical of the bread at first for the French toast, but it turned out great, so that's fine. I am now at Fountain Hills. I'll show you some videos of that later. Gonna watch the very first card like the first group of the pro players that tease off because there's some really good players in that group. So I'm gonna watch them for an hour and a half, two hours before I head back down to Scottsdale so I can caddy for Drew. So we'll see what the park looks like. There's the fountain. At like almost on the hour and then it goes for five minutes and it shoots very high. Okay, so that was a compilation of a couple of shots from Drew that you saw. He had a rough start the first three holes and then played really well for a while and then had a couple more bad holes and then finished pretty strong. So overall, a pretty good day. It was a lot of fun. A really cool part about today is there are so many people that I know from back home that are out here playing. So it was like every time I turned around, I saw somebody else that I knew. And so that was super cool. And almost all of them asked if I was playing, when I was playing. It would have been really fun to be playing and every time i watch a sport i just want to go play that sport so when drew's round ended i really wanted to go play but i was pretty tired anytime i watch basketball or football or golf or stuff like that um, i want to go out and play that sport so there was a big strong feeling that like ah i should have been playing in this but if i were playing in it then that means i'm like stuck on the course doing that one thing and not, I don't have a lot of freedom there. Um, so today caddying for Drew kind of felt that way a little bit, but it was fun because I was active and I was helping and it feels really good to do that. That's part of why I love coaching. So that was fun. Yeah, just not playing allows me to be free to walk around and go do stuff and say hi and not worry about getting tired because it's not gonna like affect whether I play well. And so that's just a lot of fun. And so that's what tomorrow's gonna be. I'm gonna go hang out with the pro players and stay at that course all day and people I know are scattered all throughout the day. So I'm really excited to go do that tomorrow. Um, on the way home, I at first went through Taco Bell. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Because I just wanted a Baja Blast for the drive because it was like 45 minutes from the course back to the house. So I went through Taco Bell and I purchased one food item. So I got a drink and a food item and then I pull up and I pay. And then the guy's like, well, the car in front of you left an item behind. So do you want that? So God blessed me with an extra Taco Bell item. Hallelujah. So that was fantastic. And then on the drive home, stopped by the store, their store, or at least one of the stores out here is called Fry's, Fry's Foods. I walked in there, man, I wanted to take a video, but I also felt super self-conscious of just like walking around talking while taking a video in a grocery store, but it was massive. It was one of the bigger grocery stores I've been in. So I got a couple items for dinner, got, you know, muffin wife always for breakfast, um, got some protein bars to split up for the rest of the weekend and to take home with me. Got one can of soup, because why not? That's super easy to do. And then also got dinner food, which I'm going to show you right now. First item, store sushi. It was six bucks. Don't judge me. And I watched episodes seven and eight the other day, so might as well watch episode nine tonight. And for dessert, that jello chocolate pudding and chalky milk. I've had this dream. It's not fun. That's why I don't go in the ocean. Lucy agrees, she doesn't like it either. 